Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Ford Nationals. If you haven't been to Carlisle, 81 acres of cars, half swap meet, half car show. And sometimes you meet people like Carl. Carl, what's your last name? Carl Chavillo. Carl Chavillo, get closer to yeah. me, Carl. Carl, what did you bring today? I brought a 1985 Mustang SVO. And you said 85 and a half. Exactly. All right, 85 and a half. Now, who was the original owner of this car? My mother. Your mother, but? But it was a graduation present to me, so she never drove, and she never drove stick. She never <laughs> drove stick. No. All right, beautiful. All right, come right alongside me, right over here, and the microphone's right there. Yeah. Tell me how you've been such a great caretaker. This car is, uh, well, let me do the math. Is it? Uh, 32 years old. 32 years old. But I'm still 28 years old. Which is nice, because <laughs> when you drive it, yep. that's what these things do. Yep. And it was such a unique car, right? Because very they, unique. Very. They got this open kind of port here, and then this injection here. That's for the intercooler. For the intercooler, exactly. And it this... was a car that Ford, I guess, tried to make to compete against the Bimmers and Mercedes. And uh, technology-wise, it's a very technical car. Uh, it's the first for Ford with 16 in, or for Mustang with 16 inch rims, pony shocks all around, uh, four wheel discs uh, is, is all a first for Mustangs. You know, it's funny because this is a time frame that the European car makers, you know, and the Asian car makers were catching up if not caught up to us. Big time. And this was where Ford was saying to themselves, correct me if I'm wrong, that we got to do something different. So they took the Mustang, which was always known as a V8 yep. for a long time. Yes. Anyway, and they said, we've got to make this a little bit more European, more European. And this was what came out of that. Right there. And let's take a look at these rims, which have a very European Mercedes of the time period look. Very arrow. Exactly. And we had that little flare there, this little piece in here, the sunroof. Did they call it a moonroof at that time or something? I think it was just a sunroof. It was just a sunroof. Yeah. And I want to show the interior. Being, being it was a California car, the owner originally put it in. Can you hold that right there just because we're in a little bit of California. Okay. So it was a California car. How long ago did your mom buy this? You said new? Brand new. Brand spanking new. I ordered an 86 SVO and in September of 85. And at that time, or soon after, Ford announced that they were no longer producing SVOs. So the dealer made me wait patiently. Um, and in February, they called me to the dealership and said, look what I have. It's an 85 and a half. And for, at the time, it, I didn't even know it was going to be a rarity, but my main cons my main thing was that it was going to be um, cheaper on insurance reasons. Because you're a young man. Exactly. Which you still are. You're 28. <laughs> you're 28. Yeah. Let's take a look, and, and I'm just showing people there was no airbags at this time. No, no airbags. Nothing like that at this time. There was your mirror stock. Let's take a look under the hood. Now, Carl, this is where the quote-unquote kind of technology came in. Yes. Is small this? small power units with a turbo charger. So we've got the functional venting that goes there to the turbo. And then you've got lots of room in here, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, no, no missing any room in there. And you can it's tell a very well-balanced car driving. But you can see too, just as I'm thinking about what you just said, here's your front front axle. And yep. It's right over the front axle. So yes. it's got a lot of weight right there. Let's fire it up, shall we? Sure.
I'm gonna listen to it idle for a second. Now I got a question for you, Carl. Did they sure. come with dual exhaust? Yes, that was the first. Uh, for the '84s were single exhaust. Let's get her rep, shall we? kick in, yes? A little bit. I, yeah. I, I had it detuned so I okay. could save it. Yeah. Alright, well let's uh, shut her off. And we'll have you shut the hood. The sun's coming out. We'll get one more look at the... You know, one thing I will say, one thing I'll say is you don't miss the front of this car, right? I mean, it's no, so unique. It's so very when, unique. When you see another one like it, you're like, another SVO. Yeah. What's the reaction of people when they see in this? Here it's very, taken very well. Like they they know the rarity of the car, and it's well well received for me. Like I really appreciate it. I get excited when people ask me questions and look at it. It's a fun maker. Exactly. That's wonderful. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. Carl, what a treat meeting you. So yep. so nice to see such a unique car. Thanks for being on my car. Th thank you very much, Luke.